Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about King of the Table 13. So I'm actually really excited because both of us are going. We have the tickets, we are going to rent a car, we're in Massachusetts to New Jersey. It's like a five, six hour ride, so we're going. Yeah, if, you, if any of you guys are coming, comment below, let us know, we can meet up. Yeah, because we're really famous, so I know you want to meet up with us. Oh yeah. But we want to talk about some of the matches, we'll start. This is kind of a surprise match for me, Kevin Palco versus Joseph Maranto. Yeah, the first time I heard of Kevin was at East vs. West. He was doing some of the after pulls, I recognized him, and then I saw him randomly pop up in Facebook and I started following him. And then he has a pretty good, youth, pretty big YouTube following, he mm -hmm. does some cool videos. So, rooting for him. And then we got Paulin versus Krazzy. Yeah. That, that, that's a war. Yeah. That's definitely a war. I think they both like going inside. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be an inside war. Pollen can top roll, but Krazy doesn't really top roll much, right? Like Krazy is a hook. Yeah. I, I think that's gonna be a war. I'm guessing. I'm going for Pollen. Krazy's been on a bit of a losing streak. But I don't. So. I don't think it'll be by much though. Like I think they'll each have a couple wins. Now this is this is one of the matches I'm most excited about actually. Corey West versus Tobias Forong because yeah. I haven't seen Tobias pull for a while and he's he was like one of my favorite lefty arm wrestlers because he's really good. He's he's just like so naturally his technique is so good and he's so naturally good like he's the only guy who's like top lefty super heavyweight that doesn't look like he's absolutely juiced. I think if it gets an award, Corey West, of course, will oh, win. Oh, definitely. But I think if Tobias wins, he's just going to destroy him right away with speed and technique. Like I think top. Tobias might win, like, the first two, and then Corey might be... If I think Corey does have the potential to stop him. Like, 100%, I think Corey can win this. I think, I think Corey is a bit the underdog for it, just because Tobias is more... I don't, I don't even know if he's an underdog. Corey is really good, like... And I didn't realize, like... He's, I gave him a handshake, and his hand is, like, everyone talks about how uncomfortable his hand is. It's ridiculous how big his hand is. This next match, I'm is very probably, excited. it's probably my favorite one, besides, like, the headliner. Matt Mask, Marcio Barboza, that, like, when I started watching arm wrestling, it was, like, those old WAL matches on YouTube, mm -hmm. and, like, this is one of those type of matches, like, we usually don't see American, well, not Americans, like Western Hemisphere people pulling against each other because um, East versus West. So this is awesome seeing an uh, old matchup like this. I think, be awesome. I think Matt wins. Marcio yeah. has had a long hiatus. Um, Matt has been, there's been a fire under him because he, he's, he lost a lot. He had some really tough matches and he was getting beat and then he came back and he's come back stronger and better every time. I would give that one to Matt. <laughs> Lachlan versus Lars. Yeah. I th I think Lars is gonna I think Lars is gonna win. win. He's a lot more technical than Lachlan, I, I think. I think Lars is gonna win, but Lachlan is really good. I I give it to Lars though. Just Lars has too many different moves. Like he can king's move. He can. He yeah. has his flop wrist press. I think it's just gonna be too much for Lachlan. And he's super strong inside too. Mm -hmm. I think Lars has that. Chafee versus Gabor. Yeah, I'm actually not sure who that guy is. I I have not heard much about Gabor Ducat. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. So I'm. But Dave Chafee is went on a massive losing streak. So I he's always Dave Chafee. He's always Dave Chafee though, so I give it to him. This is this is a really good card. Like I can't this is the best king of the table card that they've had so far. Oh yeah. And the most matches. Because usually it's what, like five? Yeah. Four or five matches. Cedrus versus Rustin. Babayev. <laughs> That's a great match. I yeah. I have no idea who's gonna win that one. I don't know either. Because didn't Rustin beat Yes. Yeah, because Rustin yeah. beat Paul in, but Cedrus is always. He's but Baev really definitely has the veteran presence. Um, I know. I know Sandras recently lost to. It was at maybe WAF Worlds or something. He lost to that young guy. He was at the last East first. Reno. 
Reno, yeah, yeah. He lost Reno Massa. He lost to him. Yeah, but Reno's also was the world champion, and then I think, he got hurt. Or something. I think we're gonna give this one to Rustin just because he has the experience. And then we got Gabriella. We met her at the last East versus West mm -hmm. versus Barbola Baklava. <laughs> Did you say just say baklava? No, like baklava it's, cake. That's baklava. That, it literally, he said baklava. That's crazy. I I think if I saw her picture, I know who she is. I'm pretty. From what I've heard, Barbara Barbara beat her last time, right? Oh like wait, that? is she the number one in the world right now? I, is I she that big girl? Think so. And, but like, oh, that's a huge match then, because Gabrielle is like the old number one in the world. And then they were saying, like, oh, Barboa is, like, the best, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I, from what I've heard, everyone's saying that Gabriella is going to get kind of wrecked. So that that one for me is a 50-50. Like, I don't know enough about that one. And then the next, the next match is the easiest. Like, I would bet all of my money. Yeah, on Eddie the Beast Hall. I think he's playing mind games with Brian Shaw. I think all oh. of the training that he's posting with... Um, you'll pick up. It's all fake. He's actually been He's, secret, secretly training with Levon, I think, right? Yeah, training in like straps, the, the Georgian arm wrestling method. And he's just pretending he's holding on outside of straps. He's, he's trying to look hook. bad. Yeah. He's just doing yeah. it on purpose to get in Brian's head. I'm, I'm telling you, Eddie's going to come in. He's going to look like he's been arm wrestling for years. He's going to destroy Brian. And our headline match, our boy Jerry... Big Daddy Cataract versus Levon Sagan. We've been training with Jerry, and due to us helping him train, <laughs> Jerry Cataract, number one in the world, it's going to happen. I think that Jerry's a big underdog here. Let's be honest. He's 100% the underdog. Levon is insane. He is absolutely insane. The only reason why anyone is saying that Jerry has a chance is because of the match with Ermes. That's why. Because the moment... He'll sit here for ages, keeping but, his tongue wagging. But can he get here? And Le then he's gonna he's gonna gas out. And then Jerry, <clears throat> that's it. Number I think, one in the world. I think Levon, a hundred percent, will probably win the first two matches. Like that's pretty much un undoubtable. Give me Jerry, Big Daddy Cadaret, number one in the world. Okay. We'll see you at King of the Table. <laughs> I thought we were actually going to talk about it. <laughs>